Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. So today we're talking about, you know, the rewards of the da'wah. So the Prophet ﷺ said to us, by Allah, if a single person is guided by Allah through you, it will be better than the red camel, better than anything in this world. So what we're saying, brothers and sisters, that when we look at the exegesis or the tafsir of this hadith, you know, this hadith was given at the Battle of Tabuk to Ali Razilatala Anhu. What was, why was this given? Because when the companions were there, when they saw Tabuk, they saw lots of wealth. And at this time, the Prophet ﷺ said, if one person is guided by you, is better than the red camel, meaning it's better than anything in this world. So when we look at that we're going to call people to Islam, calling to Tawheed, calling to La ilaha illallah, this is means that if one person is guided by us, is better than any wealth that we have. So why did the Prophet ﷺ use the word red camel? As you know, that the red camel in the time of the Prophet ﷺ was the most valuable thing. Why was it the most valuable thing? Because the red camel, not only if you had a red camel and you made it a red camel with another red camel, you would have another red camel. And then those would made and have another red camel. And this would be ongoing, your risk or your finance would grow. In the same way like today, like for example, if I start a business and once I'm really established in that business, I would start another business and then I would start another business. So the logic is the same, that in the same way the Prophet is better than red camels, means better than anything you do today. And even if, it, you know, you know, there's a hadith from the Prophet you know, he says, if you had a valley of gold, you would want another. And if you had another one, you would want a third. But what we don't understand, that all we take is a little bit of dirt in our mouth. So what we're saying, that as Muslims, we need to really understand what's really important, is when we die, the only thing that's going to be left behind is the good deed that we done or some kind of education we left behind or maybe a righteous child is that make dua for us. So when we call someone to Islam and that person becomes Muslim because of us and he starts to practice Islam, every time he prays, every time he gives sadaqah, every time he goes to hajj, every time he does umrah, every time he reads the Quran, every time he does that, you get the reward of that and that person gets the reward of that. And everyone that's part of this is getting the reward of this. So if you're supporting the da'wah, if you're part of the da'wah, all getting the reward of this. So think about this brothers and sisters. So if someone became Muslim because you gave them da'wah, or you had a share of that reward, that person now gets married and has a wife and then he has children. And those, his wife and those children are now taking Islam. You get the reward of their wife and their children. Imagine within 100 or 200 years, what are the hasanats that will be on your mezan on the day of judgment? So this is a huge blessing, brother and sister, that Islam gives you. If you call someone to do something good, you have the reward of that. So I believe if there was any business which was the best business, this is the best business, which is the eternal life, which is the afterlife. This will keep going on on your mezan. So please really think about this, that we need to convey the message of Islam and be part of this mission. Jazakallah khair, assalamu alaikum.